So the Minnesota Wild, to no one's surprise at all, bringing back the green and gold <clears throat> North Stars alternative jersey this season. I want to know your guys' thoughts on it. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're listening to the podcast, let us know. If you want to interact with us, as always, we are on our new Twitter account, at SotaPod. Please go subscribe to the channel. We're 300 subs short of our goal of 1,000 subs before the season starts, so please help us out. We got one more month to get that YouTube channel to 1,000 subscribers. We want to hear your feedback on this one because I feel like it's more split then social media tends to show, okay? Are you happy that the Minnesota Wild are bringing back this jersey? I think the answer is either gonna be yes or indifferent. My question to you guys is, are you happy that the Minnesota Wild are going back to the well and just milking this jersey, these colors, versus actually focusing on their main one and improving that? They've made no improvements. There's been no real evolution. Now, I'm not suggesting they go full Vancouver Canucks, okay, and change it every freaking two years. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that they don't really care about the new generation of fans in that sense. It's like, you're just really milking this nostalgia. You're you're really milking the North Stars, which let's be honest, the ones spending money to go to wild games right now, the majority of eyes watching the Minnesota Wild Hockey Club, I just said club, hockey team on TV or in person at the rink. They're more my age. They're the younger generation. They're the millennials. And again, I think there's a loud group on social media that obviously just, they love the jersey. It looks good. And I'm not saying it looks bad. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have one. It, it's, a, it's a nice jersey. Don't give me, would I rather have a North Stars one? Absolutely. But the, the page has been flipped. It is over. I like, you know, they brought it back for a year. You bring it back for a game or two. Or maybe, like, you make that night special. And you do it one or two nights a season. You wear that one owed to the North Stars. I wish they could just wear the North Stars, much like the Carolina Hurricanes wear the Hartford Whalers, but obviously with the... The legalities there. But why aren't they focusing on the main one? It's fine. Could it be better? Absolutely. The Christmas tree, the red, you know, the, the predominant red, I know that one, again, it's split as well. I know Hoppy doesn't like it. I do like it, but do I think it's a hockey jersey? It's like, it's one of the better ones in the National Hockey League? No, I don't mind the red, and I'm a guy who usually doesn't like, like red jerseys. I think it's fine. I just think it, it, it's kind of embarrassing when your best jersey is essentially a college jersey. The green with the cream that just says Minnesota down the crest. That is Minnesota Wild's best jersey, and that sucks. That sucks that that is this franchise's best jersey. As creative as the logo is, and as much as I do like it, I think it's crazy that both Canadians and locals in Minnesota had no idea that it was both, you know, a beast, a bear, and had, you know, the North Star and the, the, the tree silhouette. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Y'all smoke way too much weed. Or maybe not enough, because I feel like the pot smokers actually would notice that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I wish the Wild would focus on their actual logo, their actual jersey, rather than continuing to sell nostalgia. Am I tired of it? No. Am I tired of everyone saying that it's amazing? Yes. And Hoppy's very much on the side of, he doesn't like those colors together. Why do the new generation of Wild fans who had no connection to the North Stars at all, other than maybe your pops or grandpa sporting a, a jersey or a t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? Why are you guys defending the Packers colors? That's up. That's up. So I, I get what Hoppy's saying in the sense that like, you know, our generation, we have no connection to the North Stars as, at all. It's about time for a change. Now, I, I'm not suggesting go Vancouver Canucks, but at the same time, don't get stuck like the Washington Capitals, man. Some of the best yellow and or gold and green jerseys. Let me know in the comments. Let me know on social media at VI Sports Talk. You can contact me or at SotaPod on Twitter at the SotaPod everywhere else. What are some of the best green and yellow slash gold and green jerseys? Off the top of my head, some of my favorites, they start with the uh, Green Bay Pack. No, I'm just kidding. F the Packers. Seattle Sonics. Always loved watching the Seattle Sonics. They were close to home for me in Vancouver, British Columbia. And as soon as the Grizzlies left, I mean, I feel like most people on the West Coast of Canada either followed the Raptors or they followed the, the Seattle Supersonics. I was lucky enough to go see Steve Nash play there at the old Key Arena. The last year the Seattle Sonics were in the NBA. I think I got like tickets for like 20 bucks from a scalper. But I got to see Steve Nash with the Phoenix Suns play a young Kevin Durant in his first season. So that memory will always hold true. And again, I just love the jerseys. I also like the Prince Albert Ray. 
Raiders jersey, but not the one that they have right now because that one's more silver green and I think black, but the, the original one, the one that they tried to bring back and all you crazy white people canceled y'all telling us brown people what we are allowed and not allowed to like y'all are crazy you all canceled it if that tweet is still out there's a few years old now you know tweeted the picture of bringing back the jersey the sultan jersey the most beautiful jun junior hockey jersey of all time when they wanted to bring that one out all the comments so many people on their high horse this is racist, this is, you know, blah, 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 blah. And a lot of you in the Minnesota market too. I, I saw you, I saw you. Four brown people in the comments. I love this. This brings me pride. I can't wait to buy one of these for my kids and me, of course, going scorched earth. Anyways, it's an absolute shame that y'all canceled that jersey. It's an absolute shame that you took that pride away from us. The few brown fans in hockey, okay? Even, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say few because like half the Canucks fans are... <laughs> East Indian. Hey, there's a big population there in Vancouver, and I love you all, but I was talking to a lot of you as well. A lot of uh, people in Canucks Twitter. I mean, my brothers and sisters, my cousins. I'm Persian, they're Indian. That was maybe a little racist. Anyways, I've talked to them as well, and they, they were just as blown away. Even though it's a representation of uh, likely like an Arab man, a Saudi, the way that they were dressed and everything, a Sultan, it still was cool. And, and I'm very much like the whitest brown dude in my family. I don't even speak Farsi. I'm like one of the only ones who, do, who doesn't speak Farsi. You know, I mean, if you're watching on YouTube, I mean, look at my getup right now, right? Look at my getup. I have, I don't own any Lacoste, not even, uh, not even cologne, okay? Not even the cologne, so. But still, I, I felt a little bit of pride. I really did. So anyways, uh, f to everyone who canceled that one. You crazy ass white people. <laughs> um, as we get this train back on track, the Brazilian Soccer World Cup jerseys. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ronaldinho in that back in the day growing up. I mean, I want I wanted that jersey. So shoot, I think I even had a Ronaldinho jersey when I was a kid. Shirt, I should say. And that one came from Walmart, not like Adidas or Nike or whatever sponsoring them. But still, I, uh, I loved that one. The Oregon Ducks, man. The Oregon Ducks. Great jerseys. They make it work. And uh, the Humboldt Broncos, ladies and gentlemen, which, uh, man, it's crazy. It's been that long since it was it like five or six, oh, pushing six years five six years since the accident oh man i was at a junior hockey game with some friends from saskatchewan hell i had a friend who played in the sjhl and all of them looked at their phone there's three of them they all looked at their phones at the same time they all got like a, the same text from a from a family member and they they all just kind of like went their face just went white like like they look like ghosts. Yeah, it was, it was, it was nothing. They didn't know how severe it was. They just heard that there was an accident. And then we actually even went out after that uh, to the bar. And then it was later that night that the, one of my friends called me and was like, man, have you heard more details on this? And I was like, no. And he, yeah, he shared what, what he was told at the time. And then the next day, obviously we, we heard about the tragedy. So uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Humboldt. I mean, the community, the team, a lot of the families are, are doing better, which is awesome. And there's just still so much support for for that franchise. And uh, again, green and gold, baby. Green and gold.